today on hard mode backwards. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is one of those that you have to have a crane for, so I'm glad I brought a crane truck. But they need to do more of these. In fact, my idea on this is that they need to make hard mode be manual unloading as well. I think that would make hard mode more hard and also more fun. So like that you have to do this in zones, you have to unload your cargo with a crane, otherwise you pay for loading. And this one's gonna be a hat. We're just gonna drive over some of these things. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs>back in the crossroads <laughs> I uh, had to come and get this rail section and this opens up a warehouse that I feel like we're probably gonna need on the southern end of Heartlands so we're just doing that quick get this out of the way see what we can figure out and then there's a couple other tasks. There's like a pick some hay bales off the ground task. And there's like a go get a, a generator contract that I need to do. That sort of opens up another warehouse that we can start crafting things from. So yeah, I'm kind of getting things prepped so we can start doing the main work, I guess, in Heartlands. Getting everything uh, situated. We still uh, don't have everything discovered, but this is going to discover a little bit more of the map, and there really isn't much going on to the west, it looks like, besides for the gateway. There's a gateway to the Institute to the west, and then there's a gateway to Harvest Corp to the north, so Heartland sort of like is a four-way intersection. It goes to all the maps, so, um, so that's good. And it's got a garage, and it's got a gas station, it's got a cheap gas station, so... We can come back from Harvest Corp to there to fill up with fuel. So there's uh, some planning that I've been doing, just kind of in behind the scenes, getting things figured out. Um, but yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go for just getting work done now. Um, we gotta start doing some farming eventually, there's a couple of farming missions here, and then we gotta get over to Harvest Corp, it looks like. And just like leave our tractor there and do a bunch of farming because there's gonna be farming in every map it looks like I think um, I guess I'll have to double check that but I could be wrong yeah getting getting over to the railway house and back was uh, as you can see uh, we didn't fit, didn't really go through that much fuel um, so yeah, this this worked out. I didn't actually need to bring a fuel truck over. I just built up a gas station and paid a little bit of bucks. <laughs> Got it handled. And then... Eventually, once we end up in Harvest Corp, I think... We're going to do Harvest Corp probably last. That's sort of my thought process because harvest corp the reason i'm going to do harvest corp last is because i want to use the new tractor obviously for the the harvesting missions the potato missions in each of the zones to get them done right so there's two here that i need to do so i'll probably need to do like two fields and then there's two i think in institute as well um and we're gonna like get all of those done and then Harvest Corp is where it's just going to stay, and I'm just going to do harvesting every episode, or before every episode. Because we need to build up a supply of at least eight potatoes for bulk harvesting, which is a task or a contract that, uh, in the end, gets you if you don't uh, prep ahead and have a stockpile of potatoes. So we need to do, I think, five 
I think there's a total of 10 needed in that region. So we need to do a total of five runs of that same field. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to set up a fuel truck in the tractor and it's three implements over in Harvest Corp once we get there. And we're just going to do one every episode once we get there, of course. So I think we'll be okay to do that. Well, this path is a little slow, isn't it? It wasn't this slow coming out empty. Just the rail section being on here, being kind of heavy. And we have a sort of a scout um, contest that we can do if we have time. So yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to try and do at least these three things. Get this done. Get this delivered. Get our warehouse open. Figure out if we need anything from that warehouse. Um, I know that for sure we need two... I think it's vehicle spare parts to fix a bridge that's out so we might do that as well again time permitting try and stay on the grass here get out of this mud oh except i see trees oh don't get stuck on a tree stump don't get stuck on a tree stump please or a rock JJ leaving all of his tree stumps, not grinding them down, I tell ya. <laughs> He's playing a lot of farm simulator doing logging and he just leaves his tree stumps out. This is the remnants. The aftermath of JJ you're looking at here. Okay. Oop. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is one of those that you have to have a crane for, so I'm glad I brought a crane truck. But they need to do more of these. In fact, my idea on this is that they need to make hard mode be manual unloading as well. I think that would make hard mode more hard and also more fun. So like that you have to do this in zones you have to unload your cargo with a crane otherwise you pay for loading like how cool would that be okay Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that that would be great. Saber, if you're listening, <laughs> give us manual unloading as a hard mode option. Then, right. It'll give us more excuse to use our crane. Okay, so now we have this warehouse that has solar panels, drilling spare parts, wooden planks, concrete blocks. Um, we have a four garbage pickup thing. Uh, the other thing I was going to take a look at, there's a... Even if it's a task... Oop, there's another thing here. That's an institute. We'll just activate it just so it's activated. Uh, this one we're going to do... Not that one. Not that one. I'm hitting wrong buttons. What's this? Solar plant A. Trailer with parts. Trailer with parts. Where's the trailer with parts? There's solar panels. Let's go there. We could take solar panels over there. Where's the trailer? Oh, it comes from the Institute. Um, well, I mean, we could deliver the solar panels. Because it's right there. Our transformer, not that one. High voltage, not that one. It's got to be a task then. Brown truck. Missing supply. Here it is. I want to see if there's two. I can't tell where the second one is. But like one goes right there. So what I was going to do is grab my Ankh fuel truck. And just pick up this, this trailer out of the muck. And deliver it quick. 
and then I have fuel up at this corner at this gas station instead of um, which this can move around I think we might move this further west eventually but yeah, I wanted to at least do this first one so I could see where the second one was so it might be in a place that I'm going or not in a place that I'm going who knows we'll find out yeah, we can get this trailer out of here then. Uh, yeah, let's go across. Go across first. These things. So I've been using... This is the, the second one of these that I got. has been my fuel truck in uh, the alternate fleet as well so for Tamir and I was using it in Tamir to do some scouting and you know refueling of random because there's like 8 million trucks you have to repair and refuel in Tamir and uh, I was using it for some of the repairing and refueling and boy does this thing get tippy <laughs> let's just leave it at that I tipped it a lot I had to recover this thing quite a few times in Tamir already I mean, it's just sort of Tamir, too. Tamir has a lot of, like, hidden areas, like you drop a tire into a mud hole that you just can't see. Okay, so it looks like if I go this way, through this, possibly, except for this marshy bit. Yeah. about a further one. Might have to find a better way across. Maybe a little bit further up. Okay, so let's get this thing back on its feet before we try and get it out of here. just we'll go deliver this thing right away actually we could probably go straight almost looks like going straight might be the way to go uh, oh we'll see Yeah, we'll just go deliver this thing quick, and then we'll see if the other one... I don't see another one sitting out in this swamp. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't, like, two of them, you know? Get up here. Get attached. Come on. Get in there. Yeah, let's try going across. Of course. Now you're gonna get stuck on this tree. Go across here. Yeah, that looks a little better, and I think I have a solid... Nope, not quite. I think I have a solid winch point right there. That is not the solid winch point. <laughs> that is the solid winch point.
Do I have a solid one across? Looks like it. Yeah, I see one. See one, right? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Um, that's probably halfway solid. One of those super twigs. Yep, it is a super twig. Now nah, I should be able to get that stump. Yeah, there we go. Or dead log, I should say. There we go. We got it. Okay, so let's deliver this one. Actually, we'll not take this to the gas station because the gas station is across the other river. We'll leave it on this road. Okay, stage completed. Where's the other one? Show me the other one. Ah, okay, it's over there. All right, that's okay. Good. Now we know where the second one is. Uh, so we're going to do... It's a task. This one. With... Vehicles. Scroll up. Mag defense. This thing's uh, gas tank is still beat up from uh, traveling through that field. So we got to be kind of careful. Uh, there is confirmed there is no repair facilities or no repair resupplies on this map. And I'm out of repairs on this thing. So we're going to have to uh, probably either rebuy add-ons or bring other repair vehicles or something. There is some additional trailers about that I can grab as well. So we'll figure it out. One way or another, we'll figure it out. Oh, this is perfect. So my my uh, double with this one is I'm going to pick up these three hay bales. But I want to... also go get the generator while we're out here, which is sort of in the same direction as all of this stuff. Field's kind of muddy, though. I can see us already sinking. <laughs> So don't travel through this field with the generator. We'll go around it. Oops, wrong button. This one's going to be a hat. Mm, good enough. The crooked hat. Gangsta lean hat. Activate that other one. 
Uh, it is something this one. Let there be light. That one. Yep, okay. Out that way. I knew it was out past these fields, so that's how I was like, well, this works out. This works out. See what it looks like getting up to this thing. This field looks a little muddy too. We test it. See what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's muddy. Okay. Veering. I think I can get through directly this way. Uh, yes, maybe. Ooh, that's sketchy looking. Um, this way. I'm picking this way. Hoping it's the right choice. I see a tree in front of me, so that's why I'm picking this way. That seems to be a pretty solid path. Yeah, there's, there's a road... You can cut through the road, but it also goes across a river. There's like a pretty nasty looking river crossing on the map. Um, which is down like here. Uh, can I get into this? We'll have to like bust through the... You want to try and go down as straight as possible. This is like super sketchy with this thing on top. Oh goody, and there's rocks right here. Yeah, I don't know if I can get through that stuff. That one I can, but there's like a pole in the way. that okay um can we get back through there with this trailer i'm gonna say probably not so let's try and go out this way but we'll kind of go through the same path through the field like we did like here and then we'll turn here like this to the road to skip that field to get back so yeah then these get dropped off right here those get dropped off right there we're good to go we're gonna have to cross the river in this thing see i guess hopefully we don't blow it up This thing does have fuel in it, in the event that I need it, but I don't think we'll need it. Oh, I feel like all the, I guess these aren't the uh, season 13 ones. Speaking of season 13, season 13 is done. Um, this is a recording post the finishing of season 13 and uh, man, was it fun. I had a good time doing Season 13. But yeah, it's got a bunch of these, uh, like, log bridges in the water like this. And there's, like, gaps in it. And it just destroys your trucks. It's like bait. You don't want to use these. 
I mean, that's deep. Yeah, this, I'm glad I took the other path going in at least, but a little tight getting out with a trailer, so. And a little tippy with such a such a fine top hat. Get out there. Right, I think we're in the clear. We just gotta not go through this fast. As we've learned, these little super twigs can uh, very quickly wreck everything. Okay, get out of here, get across the river. Oh yeah, season 13 was, uh, I'm, I'm like super satisfied with it. I thought it was a good season. It was like sufficiently long. It could have been a little longer, like I said, and that could have easily been done by adding the second map that they clearly wanted to add because there's two road routes that are blocked with like rubble that they clearly could have just made into a task to open. Um, so I'm sure it's one of those things where they just ran out of time and they didn't put the second map in. So they just added a few more contracts, but like the contracts were all really good. There was a lot of like tricky ones that you had to like pay attention very carefully. Otherwise you're like running back and forth across the map unnecessarily. Um, and of course I think we all got hit with them. Like the, the log trailer one especially was one that, <laughs> that debated a bunch of people like, yeah, use this log trailer to take these logs over here. And then it's like, oh, by the way, take the log trailer all the way back. And you're like, son of a bee. <laughs> and then there's uh the mission to get the plaid which the plaid is actually a pretty good truck i have to say it's like kind of disappointing that they keep adding these like really good trucks but like it is another like kenworth worthy like i would use it for a lot of things if i had it type of things um I am, however, pretty excited for my Tamir progress because I'm getting close to getting all the upgrades for the 65368, which you know what that means. We're buying one of those for this save. And we're going to upgrade it and use it. I love that little thing. It's such a strong little, little single axle off-road truck. Works really great in low saddle configuration too. And pull lots of stuff with it. You can do long logs with it. It's super good. Just doesn't have a lot of fuel, but it's not terribly in you know, like fuel inefficient or anything. So uh, we should probably switch to the a loft one first. Yep, it's right there. Oop. Drop these hay bales off before we try and take these across the river. Oops, except I didn't actually activate it. Yeah, and seeing as I know we're really not going to find any fuel at any point, um, there's like really no fuel left in this entire region, besides for what's in that trailer that I'm using and I'm, I think I need it. Um, we're just going to buy fuel whenever we buy a gas station, because it's the cheap fuel, at least for these ones. Because I'm just going to have to refuel everything when, before we leave anyhow. 
because season seven is expensive gas. So that we're gonna have to uh, use up some spare fuel from around. We're, we're actually using some of the spare fuel currently going in Tamir. I've been, I, I need to make another trip back to, I used up what was in Michigan. Now we're gonna be using up what we left in season 10. So that's gonna get used up. There's, I think there's at least a tanker and a half or so in season 10. So we might use that up and be good in Tamir, but Tamir's definitely been using gas, not producing gas. There isn't a ton of fuel containers there. Plus I'm using pretty inefficient trucks too. I'm using the alternate fleet. Oh, this is the bad way. Shoot. Um, well. Uh, oh, shh. <laughs> Hold. I just noticed that we still have a hay bale here. We can just turn in this last one. I just drove away. <laughs> That's okay. packet and everything I just didn't turn it in okay that one's done and now let's get the let there be light task activated grab this generator Get it over there, figure out what it's what it takes to do to crafting for some of these things. Because we're gonna need this warehouse a lot, it looks like. I know we need to make a lot of beams here. Um there's metal rolls, a couple other things. Pipes I think get made here. We'll have to see. And if we have to drag this thing back across the river to fill it up with gas, it is what it is. Alright, hopefully we can make it through this undamaged. This thing's pretty hurting still. Gonna take it nice and slow. I like that. Screenshot time. It's like super bumpy on these. Going slow is working though. Then again, I only have one speed in this thing with diff lock on, so good old multi purpose transmission. Can't even go in low plus. Oh, that's right, there's this log that is movable here. I mean, 
that one. There we go. Eh. Oh. I guess that works. Just took a different angle and it just went over. All right, here we are. That's convenient. Hello, fuel truck. Oh, this generator's freaking empty. Oh, crap, dude. Well, I guess we can take the onk across and fill it up. Wow, dude. Yeah. Good thing I left this fuel trailer here. I should have filled up when I was over there. It works out. We'll just take the fuel fuel truck across. Uh, okay. So is this? Yeah, this is where you turn on the generator. Let's see. Top engine, change truck. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. So it's fuel. Ooh, you need cargo containers and consumables for that one. For cabins. Ooh, how many cabins do I need? I need three cabins in the Institute. So we'll have to bring three cargo containers and three consumables from somewhere to do three cabins. How many metal beams do we have? I have my spreadsheet up. We need four here and four in Harvest. No. Four here, four in Institute, eight in the Harvest Corp. Okay, so hopefully there's a metal beam warehouse that I can use instead of this. Um, metal rolls... Four here, three in Institute, and four in Harvest Corp. Okay, well, we know what we need now. Now we just need to figure out what we're going to be doing with them. Um, You know what? Let's do this contest. This one looked kind of fun. Believe it or not. <laughs> It's like knock over all of these things. I have no idea where to start. Or two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, whatever. We're just going to drive over some of these things. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not doing this contest. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that that like immediately flipped me. <laughs> it's just like, nope. Not today for you. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... We'll, we'll uh, go get this thing fueled up and then bring it back. Go across, come back recover that and try again <laughs> ay 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 and you know, I thought I was going to have a good episode today and here we are I really want to try it Can, okay 
No, it's got to be it's got to be deep. Like this you can see I don't think we can get across. One of these days we'll try that with the Kenworth. We'll go over to the right. Cuz Kenworth can just wade through super deep water. Found something that these uh, somewhat bouncy onks are good at going across this river with these balloon tires. No issues. Okay, let's fill this thing back up. This way we can uh, give our little guy some fuel too, because he was getting kind of low. We'll uh, we'll pre-bust out the fence for him, so he doesn't flip on another fence. That was hilarious. I'm like totally okay with that flip. Thirty-five hundred bucks. We have seven hundred and fifty thousand, so we're okay. Yeah, once it starts uh, getting I think more than seven thousand to fill up a tanker, then it's cheaper for me to take it across to another thing. And like Tamer is really expensive gas. So. So I've just been transferring the fuel truck back and forth. We actually have two fuel trucks there now. I brought over the uh, the other um, GMC. So we have a GMC and an ANK fuel truck. And then Alaska vehicles. Now some of the Tamir vehicles, so like the extra Taiga. We did get an engine for the Taiga, by the way. So when we do finally bring, which we might bring one of the Taigas over here as we now have three of them. And so I might bring one over because there's there's one for sure that's a repair taiga. We might bring that one over. Because then I can use up the repair points in it. And that one I'm not going to replace because we're going to end up turning that back into a useful truck. Because we're going to turn, once we're done with farming here, we're going to turn both tractors into repair trucks, and those are going to be our new repair vehicles going forward. They can drive pretty much anywhere. Decent enough fuel economy, I guess. And yeah, we'll just make them both into repair facility vehicles. Go rescue a truck, drag it somewhere, repair it, you know, use the tractors for it. Good thing you get five attempts to uh, do a uh, contest in hard mode, huh? <laughs> it's not one and done. <laughs> So this way, I could have just cut through the field. Uh, yeah, I could have just cut through the field. Oh well. Lesson learned.
That at least unlocks a couple of things though for us. Now we have two warehouses. We have one that has the generator and one that has the not generator at the railway. I think that's it for warehouses in this map. And then we can do the bridge because we now have the equipment at the other uh, the railway warehouse to unlock the bridge. And we should be good to go. And I think in the next one, I'll start moving the the equipment, the farming equipment over to the field to the west here. Uh, oh, I wanted to turn into here. All right, bump my mic. Hopefully that's not loud. There is stumps over there. We're not going through that. Damn it, JJ. Start grinding your stumps, man. <laughs> It's okay, it'll catch up with him when he's trying to log through there. He's just hitting all of his stumps. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's just like plow all this down. There. Now you're safe, little fella. this bugger up. Okay. Let's try that again. I just like held the gas down and it just like bounced off a pole. You should probably hit these kind of slowly. It might flip. Okay, we're good there. See more fence. This is pretty fun. Oh, geez, I totally missed. <laughs> Oops. Swing and a miss. Huh. We actually did it in less time. That was not very hard either. That was pretty fun. Okay, so I think... Um, yeah. Okay. Let me just double check this. Let me check this task. It's, uh... Two drilling spare parts. Perfect. 
Okay, so let's hop in the White Western Star. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a plan to this. I want to... Where is... This one. There's one. I know there's one right here, right next to the fuel truck. But there's one across the river here, and one there. And one way over there. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna swing through here. We're not going to pick this one up just yet. We're going to come back and pick that one up last. Because we're going to be pretty overloaded with garbage by the time we get through here. So we're going to start by picking up two drilling spare parts. Just had to double check, looked at the other screen. Drilling spare parts, we're going to fix the bridge first. And then we're gonna pick up some of the garbage, and that is probably gonna end up being sort of the end. Do we need any more of this stuff anywhere? I'm sure we do. What do we have? Solar panels, three solar panels go to the west. Concrete blocks, what do we have for concrete blocks? Two in the institute. We might have to come all the way back here at some point. This could be the only source of concrete blocks. Okay. Yeah, let's try and back this up. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of timing. Might be just the bridge. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to get to the bridge. I think I have fuel in good spots. Fuel is in, uh, in like the, the Ankh can just kind of move around in the middle there if need be. Which way? This way. Try and not hit the, uh, tree, tree stumps that are everywhere. Yeah, Rex mentioned it in a comment the other day. He was like, he's like, is this all from JJ? All the all the tree stumps everywhere and it's like yes they are this is definitely the aftermath <laughs> speaking of rex he's doing a throw a link to his uh channel in the description but uh he's he's doing uh live streams pretty much daily now which is sweet and he even did a little bit of season 13. Did some flipping. He, he pulled the uh, log trailer to the wrong spot as well. But yeah, it's, it's uh, been pretty fun. He's filling in the late night spot. I'm, uh, I'm the boomer that goes to sleep super early. He goes in late. So yeah, kind of works out. Yeah, so this is pick four garbage off the ground. I think... Because there's one that's like really close to the end, so we might have to like drop off some and then pick up that last one, but... That's okay. Okay, how do I get to this bridge? We go... This way. Probably through the field, I bet, is going to be better. We'll just make a line like that. And then here. So yeah, let's figure out this bridge. This is where we're going to... I'm going to end it just a little early again. 
um, because I think it's going to take me a little bit to get there with this thing. So, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.